It took me a long time to find and buy a bottle of Guerlain L'Omidal Platine Privé, but I finally have it and this is my review of it. So I'm a big fan of the Guerlain L'Omidal line, which is a line I feel is definitely quite unique and extremely well made. That signature Guerlain L'Omidal scent and the different variations of it are great and smell unique. Guerlain L'Omidal Platine Privé is the or one of the latest in the line and this is an EDT. Before I begin, if you love smelling good and if you love fragrances, then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe. I basically upload every single day and you will smell good for sure. Some of the notes in Guerlain's L'Omidal Platine Privé are grapefruit, bergamot, green almond, neroli, musk and vetiver. So what does Platine Privé smell like? To me, Platine Privé opens up with a zesty burst of grapefruit together with that vetiver. So a big dose of slightly aromatic and refreshing citrus with just a hint of sweetness to it and vetiver. Those two notes, the grapefruit and the vetiver, are the most prominent and dominant notes right from the start. There's a bit of something spicy in the opening as well, adding a bit of top and sharpness to this fresh opening. The vetiver in the opening leans more on the fresh and green side than something woody, but I like it. The very first couple of minutes is a like, but not a love. But within a few minutes, the vetiver, that citrusy freshness, and that spiciness becomes a lot more rounder, less sharp, fuller and overall sort of more balanced and I like it a lot more. As it heads into the mist it feels like the spiciness grows stronger but in a much less sort of a sharp way and the whole thing turns into something very familiar thanks to that almond. I get a fantastic dose of that almond that I'm in love with together with the grapefruit and a bit of whatever, which by now feels more woody and slightly slightly earthy than fresh and green. If you love that Guerlain's signature almond and if you like citrusy freshness and whatever, then you most likely love this. The mids is where I'm reminded of one of my absolute favorite L'Omidal Freshies, L'Omidal Cologne. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a comparison of the two. The main difference is without having done a full comparison is that Platine Privé is more heavy on the vetiver and perhaps a bit more sort of a citrusy and spicy sharp than the cologne. Not sure if that's because my bottle of the cologne has been used a lot more, but I always experience the cologne as smooth, citrusy and aromatic freshness with that almond. And Platine Privé feels more intensely bright and spicy with a more prominent dose of vetiver. So I've been through a few bottles of the cologne. This bottle doesn't have much juice left in it and I just love it. Had it on on so many beach vacations and on a warm day, it's a fantastic compliment getter. So Platine Privé giving me L'Omidal Cologne vibes is definitely a good thing. As it dries down, its freshness gets a bit softer, its spiciness goes to the background and it's basically that fantastic creamy L'Omidal almond scent together with a very soft kind of woodiness. So that creamy almond, a very soft woody side in the background and the whole thing is a bit fresh and soft spicy. Whatever sweetness I picked up in the opening feels a bit stronger in the dry down. This however is not a sweet scent. But there's just a hint of it in the background together with something musky in the base which makes the dry down something I really enjoy. In a way Platine Privé is like cologne but with a more sharp and intense dose of freshness definitely a more noticeable dose of vetiver and a bit of a twist to the overall sound. So they are not 100% the same, but I think it's impossible to smell Platine Privé and not think of the cologne, especially once Platine Privé hits the mids and goes into the dry down. So how do I feel when I wear Platine Privé? Having so many fantastic scent memories with the cologne, so many smiles and good moments with this one on, this just makes me smile. I can't wait to use this in warmer weather. This gives me summer vibes for sure, but a different, slightly different kind of summer vibe if I compare it to other sort of a summer vibe scents like Le Bon. When I wear this kind of scent with that creamy almond on a warm summer day, I not only feel good, but I also know I'm wearing something that a lot of people have not experienced scent-wise. This to me is summer figure vibes. So what about compliments and reactions from others? I have not worn this out yet, but having worn the cologne a lot during summertime, I think this might end up on the same level of positive reactions and compliments. The cologne has gotten me so many compliments and just fun reactions and Platine Privé sort of a being on the same level might just do the same. I think Platine Privé is a very likable scent that will get the same attention as the cologne because of its uniqueness. So what about the performance? So I have not done a lot of performance tests yet, but based on my limited wearing experience, 
I think that the longevity is decent but nothing strong and the projection is about average. I need to get back to you on the performance later on but right now the performance feels about average but not strong. The original cologne is a fragrance I sprayed on and then kept topping up which is one of the reasons I believe it got me so many compliments. Platine Privé almost feels like it's on the same level, so I think I might have to top this one up on warm summer days as well. Having worn the cologne so much, I can say that if you spray it properly, people will pick up on it, and I believe this one will as well. I will definitely spray a bit more with Platine Privé, but again, I do need to wear it more to get a proper fit for its performance. So when should you use Platine Privé? This is creamy almond in a fresh and spicy blend, and I think this is perfect on a warm day or whenever you want a different kind of fresh scent on you. Summer days for sure, when you go to the gym or when you want to smell fresh in a more unique way. So I do think it's very versatile when it comes to occasions. When it comes to seasons, you can wear this throughout the year for sure, but it will definitely shine the most during warm summer days. So who's this fragrance for? If you enjoyed Long Medal Cologne, then you will most likely enjoy Platine Privé. However, I do want to highlight what I feel is its slightly more intense and sharp freshness and spiciness. Do not expect Platine Privé to be as smooth and round as the cologne, at least not in the opening through to the mids. Even though its freshness gets a lot smoother and rounder in the dry down, that initial freshness does have a bit of bite to it. If you love the scent of almond and think you would enjoy it in a citrusy and spicy fresh blend with a bit of vetiver, then you might enjoy this. If you don't enjoy the scent of almond and if you don't enjoy citrusy fresh scents, then this is not for you. So what are some of the alternatives to Platine Privé? I wish I could say the cologne, but unfortunately the cologne has been discontinued and the same goes for cool and sport. I really don't have anything else with almond done in this fresh way, so at least I don't know of any alternatives that are super similar to this. But the rest of the line is definitely an alternative. They are not fresh, they've got a lot more depth to them, but they all have that fantastic almond. For a very different scent that's a lot more floral with almond and vanilla, there's Initio's High Frequency. Different kind of almond scent with an intense floral side, but it's almond and almond done in what I think is a fantastic way. Pros and cons, pros first. This thing right here smells good and it's definitely a unique scent. That Guerlain almost scent is not something you find from other houses. Cons the performance, it's not a strong scent. So how am I going to rate Guerlain L'Omidel Platine Privé? So I love that L'Omidel almost scent and I absolutely love the cologne. There's been a few times when I've been disappointed when a fragrance has been discontinued and the cologne was one of them. So many amazing memories with L'Omidel cologne and this basically gives me that but with a little twist. This fusion of freshness and creamy almond is so good and it's a scent that gives me a unique kind of freshness. I'm going to give L'Omidal Platine Privé a 9. This is really good and this is pretty much a must for you to try if you absolutely love that Guerlain L'Omidal almond scent or if you are a big fan of the cologne. So what would have made me rate it higher? I think it's great as it is, so I really don't have anything specific I would change with it. So I doubt there's anyone from Guerlain watching this, but if there are, please make a fusion of Platine Privé and cool in the future. I would absolutely love to see a more intense and nuanced dose of freshness with both mint and citrus together with the almond and perhaps an added dose of marine or watery notes. So I would love to know what you think of Platine Privé and how you would rate it from 1 to 10, so make sure you comment. Like this video, I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you check out the videos over there and I'll see you in the next one.